Hi, my friends. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, and I have the story of the day for you. Dun, 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 dun. I will never, not ever, eat a tomato by Lauren Child. <clears throat> I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give Lola her dinner. This is difficult because she's a very fussy eater. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small and too green. One day, I played a good trick on her. Lola was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner, and she said, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. <clears throat> I do not eat cauliflower or cabbage, or baked beans, or bananas, or oranges. And I am not fond of apples, or rice, or cheese, or fish sticks. And I absolutely will never, not ever, eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. It's a lot of food she doesn't like. And I said, that's lucky because we're not having any of those things. <coughs> we are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and certainly no tomatoes. I wonder what she's going to make her. Lola looked at the table. Then why are those carrots here then, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. And I said, oh, you think these are carrots? These are not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They look just like carrots to me, said Lola. But how can they be carrots, I said. Carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, said Lola. Well, I might just try one. And if they're all the way from Jupiter, mmm, not bad, she said, and took another bite. Then Lola saw some peas. I don't eat peas, said Lola. I said, these are not peas. Of course they are not. These are green drops from Greenland. They are made out of green and they fall from the sky. But I don't eat green things, Lola said. Oh goody, I said, I'll have your share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well. Maybe I'll nibble, just one or two. Oh, said Lola, quite tasty. Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat a potato, so don't even try. Not even mashed. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People often think that, but no, this is a cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh, said Lola. In that case, a large helping for me. I love to eat cloud. Charlie, she said. Those look like fish sticks to me, and I would never eat a fish stick. I 
I know that. These are not fish sticks. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I went to that supermarket one time with Mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before, Lola said, gobbling. And there are there any more? And then she said, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, what, one of those? And Lola said, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I couldn't believe my eyes because guess what she was pointing at? The tomatoes. And I said, are you sure? Really? One of these? And she said, yes, of course. Moon squirts are my favorite. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? She has some orange twiglets, some green drops, some moon squirters, some cloud fluff, and some ocean nibbles. Mmm. That all sounds delicious. I hope that you enjoyed this story. What are some of your favorite foods? I want to know. And I also want to know if you've ever tried something that maybe you didn't think that you would like and it turned out you really, really liked it. If you could draw me a picture and show me what those things are, I would love that so much. It would make my day. I hope that you're all well and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, everybody.